Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. This is episode number 31 of Let's Play Endless Space Disharmony. I'm actually having fun again. Sorry to say that I wasn't for the last few videos. Got kind of annoyed. But now... Now I feel good. Now I'm... I'm I mean, I like it. I like the, uh, the auto-manage. I, I should have just done that so long ago. Because the AI just kind of does all the right stuff, you know? It just it knows what... It knows if you should convert from a something to a desert to a an ocean. And I could probably know those things too if I really wanted to, but I just don't care. Uh, we'll combine these two since we can. Now if there's just an auto-merge button, I'd be even happier. I still don't really understand what's going on over here. But I am, I, I feel like I'm running low on ships. But I'm blowing up most of theirs, so I guess I shouldn't worry about it. Seventy movement, wow. Here, you guys go to there. Zoom. Zoom. That's as far as you can go? Oh, you're blockaded? Oh, boo. Just shoot him down. Just one more turn there. Now, I've been saying it for a while, but uh, let's see how we're doing on technology. We're working on Endless Empire. Um, building five copies of it leads to, main, to victory. I wonder if the AI will start queuing that up anywhere. But uh, let's go ahead and design a new ship. We'll add a new ship. We're going to call this the... Uh, I don't know. We'll pick the largest ship class. We'll call it um, Big Bertha. Because that makes sense to me. And we're going to put on it... What? Super crazy, crazy weapons? Let's put, um, it's got all kinds of fancy gizmos. It's got tons of, let's put tons of guns on it. Just tons of them. That actually gives it very little actual offensive power. It's weird. Let's go with, I mean, it should be melee, actually. See, it's surprising. I mean, it's just, it's not that much. Compared to... I guess it is. I was watching a guy um, who, who made videos uh, about Endless Space, and uh, his name is Marbazir, and I liked his strategy. He, he basically took about half of the tonnage of a ship and put... God, that's a lot of freaking ballistic weapons. So half, half of the tonnage of the ship is going to be ballistics. I'm going to put half of it as my second best, which, uh, let's actually, let's be crazy. We'll make beam weapons. So 200 tons of beam weapons. So you have like a primary weapon and then a secondary weapon. And um, then the rest can be support stuff. So let's go with, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and stick an engine on there. Wow, the engine takes up a lot of space. We'll throw the extra tonnage on, why not? Um, the repair module probably would make sense if I could afford the tonnage, but man, that engine. Plus five on ship, plus two on fleet. Yeah, whatever. We could stick some armor. 42 tons adds 300 life. That's not important. Power. Siege. No, we've kind of already got siege stuff. We've got plenty of room for special modules, so perhaps I should have used those too. What does point defense do again? All of the ship's defensive systems contribute to additional fighter bomber defense. Hmm. I mean, I guess maybe I don't need that many guns. 
But no, Big Bertha is going to be a... It's a gunship. This thing is just... I don't care. I'm just going to... It's fine. So what did we end up with? We ended up with an engine. Extra tonnage is pretty cheap. The engine's good. That's fine. Don't need any shields. This is an all-offensive boat. But I do want this thing. So let's actually cut back a little bit on the beam. Uh, we'll go... We need 170. So we're really close. Aren't I? I can do math, I swear. 850 minus 170 would be... 750 minus 70 would be... 680. Okay. That would explain it. There we go. And that'll actually probably make it stronger. This gives extra crit chance and 5% damage max on fleet. Oh wow, it's on fleet. I guess that's kind of crap. Because these are big ships, there's not going to be very many of them. So never mind, let's just go with more guns. Guns, 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 guns. Bullets, lasers, couple missiles. Sounds good. Create. And let's uh, end the turn and just see if uh, the AI starts making any big Berthas. I doubt it will. But I am also curious to see if I if I put a big Bertha in there, does the AI cancel it? Or does the AI just kind of let it happen and then... Uh, Galactic Plague. Something is... Uh, let's just make sure the Amoeba aren't winning. Okay. Something is killing sentient beings. Uh, it's minus 70%. Whoa, no, I don't want minus 75%. Minus 3 on Empire every 6 turns for 20 turns. Plus 2 on Empire for all... No, we're not gonna... Yeah, we'll, we'll be hostile. Whatever. <laughs> Still making end games. I think the math gets really messed up there when you've got tons of tiny little ships with the plus fleet and then they're so small they can all stack up. It's just kind of silly. Um, let's leave one behind to defend and we'll take one group. Actually, let's flip it around. We'll leave that one behind. This one has more movement. You guys go here. Zoom. Look at that. They're going to go straight there. Wow. See, that still impresses me. And let's just make sure that they're all still on AI. Nope, oh, I've captured some civs, some cities. Next turn. Okay, if I don't see any big Berthas queued up, queued up, I want to make a couple. They're probably going to be terrible compared to my swarm strategy, but whatever. Something is killing sentient beings. I'm not sentient. So, everyone in the in the world got to take that event. So here's all the effects. Minus, God, stupid, stop it. Minus two on Empire. Plus two, plus two, plus two, minus three, plus, minus three. So what's that all add up to? Minus six, plus six. Minus six, plus six. So it's just minus two overall. Empire elimination. Who just got eliminated? Cravers are dead. The, sh the uh, automatons took them out. So you just finished Endless Empire. Okay. Uh, pretty much un... un there, there's the whole bottom tree. What's this stuff do? We don't use trade routes. Don't use trade routes. Don't care about any of this stuff. Luxury base FIDS bonus on planets could be good. 25,000 science per turn, jeez. I have no alliances. 
Plus 100% food surplus bonus. Huh? I don't understand what that means, but I want it. It's an improvement, so it has to be built, but... Uh, let's get that thing, and then that thing, just because it's not going to take very long. And then let's start going more military. What's this thing do? Alright, whatever. Next turn. Oh yeah, I wanted to check on Big Bertha's. So is anyone making a Big Bertha? Nope. Okay, let's sort by production. Doing all these or I mean, they're doing some serious, uh... Some pretty serious terraforming. Let's go check out Osulo. Desert, ocean, arid, lava, arid, and it's currently it's changing Osulo 3 from arid to ocean. Which I'm assuming is going to be good. So let's see what happens. I'm going to interject a big bertha there. And just wait, and we'll watch. So it's Osulo, which is one of my first, sy first systems. Now I'm really I'm actually kind of tempted to play this again with with the auto um, auto AI. That's actually the AI makes this game a lot more enjoyable. Okay, what's this then? An anomaly is randomly created on four planets. Okay, fascinating. Okay, sure, blow them up. Now, yep, blow that up too. Hey, we win! Oh, too bad we lost. Star system improvement. Star... Oh God. So it's called Permanent Perennials. Let's see if, um... Did anyone start that up right away? Yeah. Yeah, they're already starting to make it. 100% food surplus bonus. So does that work like where the, the food ends up getting doubled and then the excess food that's not being applied to population growth gets ending, ends up getting applied to um, the production because I've got that other science? That would be pretty powerful. What a snowball effect. Okay, looks like we've taken that one over. That, that looks like a new addition. In which case, I'm going to take these guys down there. You guys can combine and hang out and defend. Start invading. I'm surprised there's no one there on Yakima. Where are all my ships anyway? Huge invasion power here. I think Ain Aine is probably safe. So let's go ahead and uh, merge all these ships. They've still got 48 movement. Let's send them to Yakima. It'll take them a turn maybe to get there, but this is this was one of my most powerful planets. Apparently, it's it's really pushing for science, and it's gone with hyperscale farms on everything. Probably because it's terraforming it all, and it kind of makes sense. I mean, they're not at. Uh, they're not at max pop, so maybe that's why it's doing that. It's it's really trying to gear up population. I wonder how well it would work on a faction other than the Disharmony. If it was really, really pushing for population and I'm trying to balance approval. Speaking of approval, I haven't messed with that slider bar in a long time. It's probably because I've got it all the way over there. Maybe I should change that. We'll consider that soon. Peace? No. Finish to Big Bertha. Let's go look at it. The Big Bertha comes out with 5,300 strength for just kinetic at melee range, beams at medium range, missiles at long range. Well, that's good. I didn't make any big mistakes. 
Uh, let's send it to Yakima to hang out and, and be, a, be a friend, be a party. It has like no invasion strength, but it's going to blow up ships. Oh, that's probably a mistake. It can actually travel really far. Wow. Why can it go 44 units? Jeez. All on its own. It doesn't have any invasion strength. I don't know what I was thinking as a dumb ship. But it's got a lot of pew pew. I want it to fight something. I want to send it so that I can... I want to see all those guns fire. Maybe I can find some ships. Here. Why don't you go over here? Amoeba are now at 85%. They're still producing income. Yeah, let's make sure I've got all of my people controlled. Um, and so, yeah, I do want to look at this slider thing. So, population-wise, um, I'm getting tons of science, but I guess I don't really need that science that much. What if I just put it at 50% and kind of let the AI... I mean, it's, it's balanced now because the excess food just ends up being production. Should probably oh look at that twenty eight hundred production now in Adana. Yeah, it's gonna spit that thing out one turn. Adana's not even doesn't even have that much population. Okay, next. Because I don't really want the science. I don't know. Do I want the science victory? Is that how we're gonna win? How are we gonna win? It seems like the game's running better now that I've killed almost all the ships. Stream consumption. Good job. Where's my big Bertha? Ships? Yes. Oh yeah, 4,000 strength fleet. Let's fight them. Big Bertha. Manual. So, we've got a tiny bit of missiles, a decent amount of beams, and a ton of freaking guns. So let's go with the... Uh, I don't know, it's just one ship, so let's just go with Nano Repair. But watch these these guns. <laughs> I can't wait to see them. There's gonna be a lot of bullets coming out. There better be. It better be as cool as I expect it. There go the missiles. There's the lasers. Big Birth is down. Oh, that's right. It's just one ship. It needs defenses. <laughs> it took out two of them. It's, that's not bad. I mean, it managed to take out two of them. It had a lot of guns. Totally not worth the money. That was a crappy ship. <laughs> uh, it's not even close to what I expected. Do I need to make more ships? Am I not getting close to an economic victory? I don't. I probably can't get an economic victory because I don't make any dust. Huh. All right. Well, I'm gonna take a break here, and probably rethink my ship design. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.